Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to send WhatsApp notification to India Mart leads. So here my objective is that every time a new lead is received through India Mart, which is an online B2B marketplace, then automatically a WhatsApp message must be sent to the lead. Now here you can share the product details, product brochure. Let's say that here I have received a query, then I'm going to reply to the query using this WhatsApp platform. To do this, I'll have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So here, my trigger application will be India Mart and my action application will be WhatsApp. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in and if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It's not going to take more than two minutes. Also, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, once we reach the dashboard, on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this. This dialog box has appeared and here you have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective, which is to send WhatsApp message to India Mart leads. Here I'm going to click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this, when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now in this particular use case, my trigger application will be India Mart. Let's click on this. And the trigger event is the event that is going to make this workflow run and here it will be new lead. So this workflow is going to get triggered every time a new lead is captured in India Mart. Now on the right hand side it is written that this trigger will check for new data in 24 hours which means our trigger application is polling based. So the workflow is going to run in every 24 hours to fetch for new leads. Now, once this is done, let's click on connect. Here we can see that Pabli Connect wants to connect with India Mart account. Now, to set up this connection, I'm going to select add new connection. And now we need the CRM key. How can we receive this? For this, first you have to log into your India Mart account. I have already done that. Let me take you there. Now, here you have to go to settings. Within settings, we have account settings. And here we have got CRM API. Now you can generate your own key here. I already have generated the key. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to paste the key that we have just generated. And here I'm going to click on save. As we do that, we can see that India Mart and Pabli Connect are now connected. Once this is done, here I'm going to quickly refresh the fields. And as we do that, here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, here we have received the response. So we have received the query ID. This here is the subject. Here we have the sender state. Now this here is the name of the person, mobile number, email address. Here we have the sender's company, city, sender's address. Then here you can see we have received the product name, query message and MKIT name. Now once we have received this information, I want to send a WhatsApp message to the person saying that we have received the query and we'll get back to them shortly. So here I'm going to choose my action application as WhatsApp by AISNC and the action event here will be to send template message. Let's click on connect. So as we do that now Pabli Connect wants to connect with WhatsApp by ISNC account. Since we are setting up this connection for the first time, I'm going to select add new connection. Now we need this API key. So how can we receive this? First log into your AISNC account. I already have done that. Now here in the left hand bar, we have manage. Click on this. Within this we have API key. And here you can see we have received the API key. I'm going to copy this, take you back to Pabli Connect. Paste the same here and click on save. So as we do that, we can see WhatsApp by ASNC and Pabli Connect are properly integrated. Now once this is done, here we have to enter this information, the campaign name, mobile number, username, etc. 
So first of all, what is a campaign? A campaign has different templates and these templates are pre-written messages that can be sent to the users. Now let me show you the same. So let's go to AI Sensei. Here I'm going to take you to the campaign that I have just created. So the name here is India Mart Lead 1. The type is API. This here is the message type. This here is the template name. And this here is the created date and time. Now you can see this here is the template that we have created. Dear, then there's a number within double curly braces. Your query regarding the subject, then there's another number has been received. We will get back to you within 24 hours. Please feel free to connect with us at admin at publictudes.com regards public connect. Now these numbers that are written here within double curly braces are known as variables. And these are the parameters that can be changed every time you receive a new response. So basically you do not have to create this WhatsApp message manually for each and every user every time you receive a new response. Now I'm going to quickly copy this name here, go back to public connect here. I'm going to paste the same and remove this refresh part. Next we have to enter the mobile number. So here I'm going to enter the mobile number. Let's go to step one. And here you can see we have received the details. So this method where I'm going to retrieve the information which we had received in the previous response is known as mapping. And this here is the mobile number. Now, why do we have to map this information? This is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Had I written this manually, in that case, even when my workflow would have run in real time and I had received some new response, it wouldn't have taken that. Instead, it would have only taken the manually written data. So to avoid that, we map the information. Now I'm going to map the user's name. So this here is the user's name. Then we need the source. So here I'm going to write India Mart Leads. Okay, next we need the tag. So if you wish to provide a tag, you can do that. I'm just going to write lead. Next, let's go down and here we have to enter the parameters. So basically the value of those variables. We had two variables. One was the name, another one was the subject. So here I'm going to add the name, separate it with a comma. And now here I'm going to enter the subject. Once done, if you have any attributes, you can enter the attributes here. Now, if you wish to send any file, then the file name has to be entered here and the URL has to be entered here. Remember that this URL has to be publicly accessible. Now, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, here we have received the response. According to this, now this person must have received this WhatsApp message. Let's go and check the same. And yes, here you can see that we have received this message. So this means that our integration is a complete success. Taking you back to Public Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger was India Mart where the event was new leads. Then our action application was WhatsApp by AI Sensei where our event was to send template message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. In this way, you can integrate different applications using Public Connect. So you can also clone this workflow and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.